Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. If you want to see more of my videos, it would help me out if you could click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Today, uh, we're in the laboratory in Southwest Florida and uh, there's a lot going on today and I have a confession to make and that, that confession is in, in some of my former videos, previous videos, I lied where I said, I did this, I did that, and well, the reality of it is that Yay! I have I have helpers. I have people in the laboratory that are that are helping me out, and it has really just been uh, a pleasure. Uh, I worked in in a university environment for 35 years before I retired, and one of the benefits, one of the things I really enjoyed, was watching the uh, the students and postdocs and technicians uh, learn and grow as scientists. And that's one of the sad things that I stepped away from. I, I don't mind missing all of the, you know, the meetings and the committee work and things like that, but interaction with uh, the young scientists is what I, I really missed. And, and finally, I, you know, had the opportunity and it's presented itself and I'm just uh, enjoying this. So, um, I'm still showing, uh, you know, these, these students, the technology, these are some undergraduates that are helping me out in the laboratory and, and these two are really, really good. Uh, what we did this morning is we set up a medium screen. So I'm interested in uh, optimizing uh, media for orchid development. You know, bigger, better, stronger, faster, getting the, uh, the seedlings as big and fast as possible. And what I have on this uh, table right here, on this cart, is a, uh, a, an initial medium screen where uh, we set up the, the screen to evaluate a number of different media addendum components. We're looking at carbohydrates in this experiment to see what effect there is on um, development, seedling development in a few orchids. And this is, a, this is a nice experiment. We'll see how it goes. I ordered some carbohydrates that just came in after I set this medium up, so medium screen up. So I'll, I'll add that in a later experiment. But right now we have a few different media. I've got a lot of different orchids that are growing in the culture room. And what we'll do is, uh, after the medium solidifies, we will transfer some of those seedlings onto the various medium and then evaluate those after two, three, four, or longer number of months to see what effect it has on development. And this is uh, based on an old experiment that I did and I reported to you before earlier about the effect of banana baby food on uh, orchid seedling development. And the reality of that, the conclusions were that it was the bananas in the baby food when I evaluated bananas versus banana baby food versus no addition versus uh, one of the other components that was in the, the banana baby food. And it was the bananas. So we have one of the controls here is the addition of a banana to the medium. And then I have some of the other carbohydrates that make up. I did a literature search. I found the carbohydrates that are produced in pretty high amounts in bananas and I've added those to the medium as well in addition to the standard carbohydrates and minerals and nutrients vitamins everything else that's in there so I'm going to do a little experiment to kind of figure out what is going on uh, and what components are going to contribute to more optimal development and I'm going to be evaluating a few different I and I said I again I'm sorry we will be evaluating a few different orchids and seeing if there's some orchid types that are more responsive to the media addenda uh, than others. So first of all, I apologize for my misrepresentation of the work that I've done. Um, these two have been helping out quite a bit with a lot of the stuff that I'm doing and it's really so great to have them around. Um, what I wanna do next is get behind the camera and show you just a little bit more of what they're doing. So they're transferring orchids from the uh, from a seed germination or from an early replate medium onto a second medium that's going to allow uh, a little better uh, seedling development. And I think it'll be easy for me to explain what's going on after I sit behind them. So let's get going. I'll get behind the camera and show you what they're doing. Okay, so this these are Certipodium seedlings that are getting transferred from one container to the other. The, the instruments are sterilized in the bead sterilizer right there. 
and then they're transferred from this the dish on the left into the jar on the right and we're trying um, you know a bunch of different types of containers so the lid for this container is right oops right here so i just melted a hole in this container put a cotton ball inside of it and covered it with tape um, and it adds to um, it, it lets the the gases flow in and out a little bit more effectively this is another type of uh, ventilated lid on this bottle right here so we have different types of containers that we're evaluating this one doesn't have any uh, this container, this is just a tub, and this doesn't have any, um, any ventilation in it. But these are just different containers, and right now, again, what's going on is uh, she's transferring the larger seedlings of this orchid from the Petri dish there into the bottle shown right here. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea of uh, what's going on there. I don't think I don't know if there's anything else noteworthy in the hood that I can go over here, but let's we'll, we'll get behind somebody else and see see what other transfers are going on in the hood. Okay, so these are some these are also certipodiums that are getting moved from one container to the other container. These look like they're see if I can zoom in. It's as far in as I can zoom. These look like a little bigger than the dishes than the other dishes that we have. Um, but again, the idea here is in these, even though they're tall dishes, they, um, you know, when the shoots hit the top of the container, that's just a little bit, uh, that's a little too much. And then when they go into this uh, other jar right here, uh, they're going to be a little bit more likely to get some additional growth. So we're just, these are just simple transfers from one uh, container into another to get the uh, the second surge of growth. So that's all I have today. There's there's not much going on with transfers, just a lot of those, those plates all contain uh, orchids from the various crosses that I have. And so depending on how long it takes for us to run out of the replay medium, uh, we're gonna tackle these as long as time allows. So that's all I have for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching some things in the hood as far as transfer of these seedlings and uh, seeing what's going on in the lab and happy propagating.